Okay, so I haven't done this for a long time, so it's going to be a minute before I really get into the groove, so I'm just going to start talking. I have burgers going in the background, so I'm going to have to flip them here in a second, but I just want to kind of catch you up. Um, last last we got together, I wanted to get some things uh, in the garden, so I wanted to get some things in the garden, and I never made seed. We ended up going to our local nursery and picking up some plants, and I stuck a couple in the ground myself, hoping that maybe there'd be enough grow season. We are literally right at the end of August. It is August 30th today, so we are at the end of the month. Uh, cold weather comes quick in Colorado. It looks like we're supposed to have temperatures uh, 70s, 60s, and 50s at night, so it's getting down pretty quick, and um, it makes it to where we are at the end. I have a bunch of stuff trying to come up and I only hope we have enough days that it doesn't frost and kill them but I should have some things to be able to cover them and they they last so, so as I was saying there were we, we finally got some plants inside of the ground and they are starting to produce we'll go check them out here in a minute but we've gotten some we got our first yellow squash off I'll go grab that for you to see um, I've pulled off one or two tomatoes and I have 20 ready to go once they're finished ripening. Hey, there's the little guy. We have, who's gonna be one years old tomorrow. Happy birthday, say happy birthday, buddy. There, maybe if I go like that, that'll be nicer. So what else? We have a couple of broccolis in there that are going really nicely. I have some that left in the pot. I have this beautiful plant that has flowers on it. I'm not sure if it's a bean plant because it only seems to open at night, but I wonder if that's because it is cool at night and it's beans would be a cool weather plant so maybe that's maybe that's what it is um what else do we have the tomatoes a bunch of different squashes uh some cucumbers are coming in and also this unique kind of cucumber did i remember it nope i did not but i went foraging we have some people who have some grapes I was able to go foraging for some grapes. So I got some grapes. I also had a neighbor who had a bunch of tomatoes, so she gave me a bunch of tomatoes. I'll make some sauce with these, add them to my salad. And um, we have some more grapes. They're just starting to turn, but they were soft enough um, with this weather. I know they're gonna get cooler, so I'm actually gonna leave them off the vine and let them finish ripening. Um, we also got some uh, lemon tomatoes? I don't know. She called them lemons and I don't know. And then some nice cucumbers that we're going to have. So got ourselves quite a bit of stuff to start off with. I'm glad that we ended up getting things after such a crazy spring and summer. Even though you're sitting around here, it really doesn't feel like you have a lot of time for stuff. So we'll have to get into that. Okay, so we needed to get outside before our sunlight is gone. Sun has gone down. Dinner is ready and waiting. Got to make sure I don't step on any poop while I'm walking out here from having three dogs. There's always poop. Let's go ahead and look at a garden that um, that we haven't put up. Oh, there's the fluff. Hi, fluff. Are you supposed to be in the garden? No, you're not. She's not supposed to be in the garden. So let's see. Let's see the different things that we got going on inside of here. As you can see, the squash plants and the cucumber plants are going crazy, which is wonderful. So first off, we have some pepper plants coming. These are Anaheim, and they call them Big Gems, which is just a Paseo pepper. You can see, uh, and right about there is a pepper, and the other ones have some flowers that are coming. We're not quite to fruiting on some of these yet, but we got more. The, Bushes look great, so I really hope that with this cooler weather, it's going to give them a lot of flowers and we're going to get some fruits out of them. Um, here we have some of our broccoli plants. I know we are nowhere close to having actual heads of broccoli, but I figured I can let them go while I can. Um, as you can see, I have wood chips down. I've watched a lot of them talk about wood chips. So far, they've helped. I do have lots of weeding to do, but it's a lot easier to get them out of the ground and it keeps the ground moist and cool longer uh, so these plants thrive and do a great job and you can see in here this is our pickling oh no these are regular cucumbers our pickling plants are over there but these we got several cucumbers coming up uh, at all various growths I've already picked off one or two looks like this one's three-fourths of the way 
to get ready there. Oh, here's another big one right underneath here, too. That one's a beauty. Picked that off in a couple of days. And we have one, this little spindly plant, really trying to put out stuff. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Um, we have another... Oh, oh, if I'm stepping on stuff, I might want to pay attention to where I'm walking. I know better than that. Sorry, broccoli. Let's see, is this... Yep, that's just another part of it. It's just growing out and so long and beautiful. Uh, next we have... This is our squash plant. This one I just pulled off a giant squash today, yellow squash. You can see some babies growing in there. We got flowers, a bean game coming up it. Um, and this bush has turned out really well considering. So, oh, and there's a little friend. Better make sure I watch myself. Don't want to upset him. We have some uh, butternut squash growing over here. Um, they're still growing. We got another one over here on this side. That's a great, great size. And then a little baby one coming up. Let's see. Oh, and this inside of here has so many flowers, but I'm afraid it's not had any fruit yet. I think all of those are the male flowers that are trying to die. Um, here's our tomato plant. We just, uh, oh, oh, it looks like we lost a branch. Something must have whacked it today. Uh, which is unfortunate because that's the branch that has the tomatoes on it. Um, but we have a big one under here that's just just about ready to pull. Just a little bit more time and that guy's ready to pull. Let's see if we can't fix this right here. Alrighty, we fixed that tomato plant. Tomato plant is now fixed. So we see, now it's, now it's up. We can see all of the beautiful tomatoes that are trying to make it fall over. I had to zip tie that bad boy up on there. It's just too heavy, couldn't take it. Got a squash that's coming up. Squash plant that's using it as a vine. I think that actually might be one of these cucumber plants. So I have this beautiful cucumber plant. A little bit of uh, the mold on there, but it seems to be doing well. And it's putting out these amazing, amazing fruits. This is called a lemon cucumber. They taste just like cucumber, a little bit sweeter, but oh, they are delicious. And they're just these little tiny balls. Got a Nice little tomato plant here too. Trying to come up, got a bunch of flowers on there. And then you can see there's still plenty of weeds. Still plenty of weeds that come through the, the wood chips. But the beautiful thing is, is that it honestly, it, A, it's these vine stuff. So there's really not much to it, but they come out super easy, especially after you've watered. Especially after you've watered, they're able to come out very easily. So. And then the last thing I have are rutabagas, which I have not even checked. I don't even know how to tell if they're ready or not. You think I'd see the head or something? I think I would. I don't know. Doesn't look like those are ready, but they should be soon. They're beautiful leaves. I'm hoping that I can use that. Oh, and a beautiful dandelion that's all mixed inside of here. Got some greens I can get out of that dandelion. And we planted asparagus, and the asparagus seems to be loving it in here. Got the little stalks that then come out as actual asparagus, so in a couple of years, this will be a beautiful asparagus bed, and then we'll use these other beds for carrots and other things in the future. But we at least got some stuff on here. I found another branch. Another branch that's down. We'll get that in there. Alrighty, so... There's at least the garden. It's coming together even after all that time. We finally got some stuff out of it. So uh, it's dinner time. I got screaming babies in the background. So I'm going to go take care of my other motherly duties. Guys, have a great night. I have just a little bit of light left. But um, I told you I had this little pretty bush that I think might be a bean plant. I needed to show it to you. So let me come. Let me come this way. See if we can find it in the light. So I have this beautiful flowering plant. Say hi, buddy. Hi. We have this beautiful flowering plant. Um, don't have any fruit off of it, but it has flowers everywhere, and they only seem to open at night. So I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out. Maybe it'll bear fruit. Maybe it's just a pretty flowering plant. So have a good night, and enjoy your bounty, and go catch your rising sun.